Hello and welcome back. Today we will be doing a bit of an interesting starting steps video. Um, we have this run that we've been playing as Japan here. We're about 30 years in, we're 29 years in, and China fractured in this uh, amazing and fantastic way where Great Xing now only owns one single province. Oop, looks like they also have Formosa cursed. It's the cursed, uh, they only have Beijing and Formosa. But, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a starting steps as one of these uh, small China powers, and we are going to select the very, very smallest that is still Han. Uh, we still have primary culture Han. Hopefully we can reform China after gobbling up Great Xing and a whole bunch of these and have it be kind of like a warring states period here in China. Um, this is the idea. Of course, we're 29 years in, so we're missing out on 29 years of reform. And so I'm not sure if this objective will be achievable, uh, especially starting out as the very smallest one, but we'll see what we can do. So we're going to go switch country and we're going to choose Xi Li. Also, we will have to worry about Japan because Japan's really strong uh, with what we did. We reformed Japan in like 25 years and we boosted a whole bunch of stuff. Laws are all in place. They're in good shape. So we will uh, have to be a bit worried about that. And so now let's take a look at what we got going on. Uh, we have a ton of trade centers, we have a ton of paper mills, we have some government admins, some glassworks, yikes. Uh, we have one state, we're running negative bureaucracy, so I guess we got some of that in the queue. We also have a port in construction. Do we not have a port? We have zero ports, okay. So I guess I don't hate that port, but we're going to need a lot more construction, but we're losing money. Hmm, very unproductive these things are. Can we try and export paper? We can. Okay, because we're producing a ton of it. So let's try and export as much as we can so we can try and get profitable. Um, I don't think we... Even though this isn't productive, maybe it's still worth doing. Uh, we are running negative bureaucracy as well. Mainly from the number of people we have, but also partially from institutions. And also partially from trade routes. Hmm. Let's see which ones we can cancel. So we will probably keep... Alright, let's cancel this one. This one. Let's cancel fish. We do want to be exporting those. I don't hate importing meat, wood, fabric, and... Yeah, we're going to need a lot of wood because the all of our, our paper mills use wood. So we probably need to keep that. Hmm. It's weird. Okay, we're losing just a ton of money, and that's with the investment pool growing. So it's going to be hard for us to expand construction here. What are you missing? You're missing fertilizer. Okay, we can switch to simple farming and not using this. Um, we will want to get tooling up and going. I think we have no tools. Yep. And that's probably more important than... I just... I don't even know what's more important here. I'm guessing it's more important than the government administrations, but we could just import tools to start. Ugh. We also have, like, no construction. God, this is grim. Okay, um... We have a ton of tea, though, so that's cool. Uh, we're gonna nuke the barracks, I think. We're paying a lot for this, and we're not going to be able to... We're not going to be able to fight anyone for a while, I think. So we'll put it down to level 1, so we won't have to have uh, the PMs swapping over. Primary equipment adjustment. And we can stay on these, and hopefully not pay too, too much. And now we're doing okay in the money. Uh, let's also see what we're using our authority on. Maybe we can do... We're collecting a bunch of uh, consumption taxes... We're promoting social mobility. Let's actually just get rid of everything here. Let's cancel that. We have a claim on the Heavenly Kingdom, too. That's wild. Okay, that's kind of funny. Um, okay, well, let's come in. And get rid of all these. And we are going to try and industrialize as quickly as possible, but we might need to not bolster one of these groups. So let's stop bolstering them. We'll keep bolstering the uh, industrialists. Let's see what we can do with consumption taxes here. We're going to tax services, liquor, basically sin taxes. We're going to avoid taxing clothes, fabric, and furniture, even though they yield a decent amount. 
We definitely want to tax T because we make a lot of T. And then we're going to use the last 200 points to promote manufacturing. And also road maintenance because all of our construction will be here. So just getting a 10% construction efficiency juice is going to be good. I see now that we're kind of making some money-ish. Um, we might need to import tools for now. I think we do need to import tools. And then we will check out how many construction centers we have. We have zero. I think we want one, and we are going to put it on iron frame immediately, because we do have these iron mines that I think... Uh, are not going to our iron price is very 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 depressed so this will help the iron mines to become profitable Ugh. all right let's see what we're doing in terms of tech egalitarianism we don't need that let's go to the production we do notably have sericulture which is unique uh to china but we're gonna go mechanical tools and into railroads we do want to get railroads as quickly as possible Ugh. I'm guessing we're going to run some infrastructure problems. We don't have infrastructure problems just quite yet, but uh, I'm guessing they will appear shortly. Now, we are using... Oh, we could go standardize filing system cabinets, which will solve this problem for the most part. So let's get rid of these. And I guess we don't super need the port yet. So we're going to go construction center into tooling workshops. Okay, this isn't too, too bad. I mean, it's catastrophically bad, but, like, not too, too catastrophically bad. Um, now, can we... We have atmospheric engine pump. So I guess we're going to want a coal mine pretty soon here. Um, we'll just do this. Okay. And then we're probably going to be losing money once we build that construction center and then be trying to crawl, crawl our way out. What uh, law are we trying to pass here? Peasant levies, we're trying to get to profession. Or we're trying to go to peasant levies? Or we're trying to enact professional army. But And we have so much enactment chance. Um, I think we'll actually keep this. It's not the most important law, but right now we're actually going to try and do the Corn Laws event to get this guy, the landowner, to be a market liberal, and we might as well make use of him while he's a jingoist to pass this. Okay. So we're just going to go with professional army. Can we reform the government to make it a little bit more legitimate by putting the armed forces in? No, but this will give us more chance on enacting the professional army. Dong Zhao, not Dong Zhuo. And we're just going to try and play nice for a little while until we feel that we can fight these guys, which is going to be probably a, a bit of a ways off. We, I mean, we're just in, like, we're 29 years in, and we just, like, kind of have nothing really going on. Um, but we're trying to get there. Now, uh, we don't have any lead. I guess we just got to keep trying to solve shortage shortages. We can't import it. Do we have potentials? One notable place... Oh, we don't even have potentials for it. So we're going to come off of leaded glass here. We're just going to do frosted. I really wish this auto queue was not building a glass works. That is insane. The paper mills. We got to find out how to import more... Or export more paper. We also really 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 need wood we're gonna put this on sawmills as well um the important thing about sawmills is going to be we need to try and get as much stuff privately owned as possible like the tooling workshop we're gonna need it on wrought iron tools that way it is privately owned uh rather than uh, owned by merchant guilds and same for this to the sawmills and also this to the atmospheric engine pump will also do it which is why we're getting that one coal place uh first we do not have enough tools though it would be really... This is... I, I mean, maybe we'll need to restart this, like, playing as Anhui or Shangzi uh, or Shandong, because Zhili seems in quite a precarious spot here. Um, but we'll see what we can do. We did get the law passed, so let's try and start reforming. We're going to encourage exports here. Which what this is going to do is it's going to start the Corn Laws event chain, which we are going to use to reform our economy. 
Yikes, 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 yikes. Okay, we don't want to import this because we don't want to run negative bureaucracy. No bread, no freedom. They gotta bear with it, I think. I guess we don't hate the minimum wage. Man, the people are struggling here. This is actually a very cursed start. That we are building another one of these is just so silly. <laughs> I mean, it must have been profitable at the time. Let's make sure we're actually... Let's go in the urban center. Yeah, we are using market squares. Okay. We're going to want to use gas street lights relatively early. We can't switch to free churches. Fair enough. And we can't really increase construction. That's really what we want to do is just uh, jack up construction a whole ton. But we're just not in the money spot for that. We'll get there pretty quick here, I think, though. Are we running an iron shortage? No, just the wood. The wood's the problem. Let's see if we can import more of it. And we are getting this going now, the tooling workshop. So now that we've finished the coal mine, we're going to come in here. And we are going to switch this to atmospheric engine pump, which will use the coal and cause the coal to employ. We'll also use put the coal on atmospheric engine pump. And now they will be owned both. They will both be owned by uh, privately owned by capitalists, uh, which is going to be primarily industrialists. We're trying to empower the industrialists over time. A modern conservative. This is what we came for. Uh, we are going to get a guy from the landowners. Let's take a quick look over here. Right now he's a jingoist, which we used to pass the armed forces law. And now he's a uh, market liberal, which means he's going to support all the laws we like. Now let's see if we can make a more uh, legitimate government. This is fairly legitimate, let's do that. And we will, oh, we can up taxes a whole bunch to try and get out from under this. But I don't think we want to go laissez-faire immediately. I think we want to go interventionalism and then swap to laissez-faire after. Probably not too long after, but while we are ramping up construction, I don't think we want laissez-faire. And then, oh, I just blanked out on something else we were going to do. We're going to up taxes quite a bit. I mean, we already have so much, such a low standard of living. <sighs> rough, 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 rough. We'll put this on auto expand. I mean, maybe we can add another... I'm trying to think if we can add another construction center. Let's get out of debt first, because you generally don't want to run the negative interest. Oh, we're paying a ton in welfare. Oh my god, we have social security too? This is so bad. This is grim. Not that social security in a vacuum is bad, but it's bad for us right now. Uh, we will stop exporting grain and we will protect uh, the domestic supply. We'll also protect the domestic supply of that. Uh, let's protect domestic supply of that. Corn laws are ended, thank god. Uh, grain trade begin. We get interventionalism here. We will... All right, what do you need? You need chop chops. Okay, so we're just going to probably just add a whole, we're, we're just going to whole bunch of logging camps because this is really the, the fundamental problem. Actually, we don't want too, too many because the auto queue will queue stuff based on like what you have in the queue. And so it might have queued like a logging camp if we didn't have one in the queue. So we'll do that. Let's put a textile mill in there. Why is a textile mill? We didn't. Oh, okay, that is a private queue. That's fine, I suppose. Uh, we will put it on dye workshops and craftsman sewing immediately. I don't know if we have any silk. We'll put one silk in there. Uh, and we can import dyes once we need to. This tooling workshop should be wildly profitable. We'll put it on auto expand. We do have this problem, so we'll add a government administration and we'll put it behind uh, the, we'll put the port at the bottom because don't really need it yet. We'll put the government administration behind the tooling workshop here.
We'll take a look at our neighbors. So we don't have a very big GDP or population size. We have a GDP of 3 million and just taking a quick look. We're kind of surrounded by people stronger than us. I think what we'll want to go after first is maybe vassalizing Shangzi. That way it'll give us a lot of surface area in terms of where we can expand. Although Great Xing, we could just try and take the state of Great Xing at some point. We will... Uh, Gotta fix the wood problem. Ooh, we gotta import fabric. Let's try and do that. So we are encouraging imports. Let's import from Anhui, even though it's not profitable. We're gonna wanna get on free trade. Oh, did we already pass interventionalism? My brain. All right, let's go to free trade. Let's see if we can make a more legitimate government here. Probably not. No. Yeah, I think maybe we do want to go after Great Shing first. We're going to want another iron mine. I think once that finishes, then we'll build another construction center. So we're just kind of trying to get things ready here. The 10% construction efficiency is really nice when we're just on one province. Because everything just builds faster. We're getting a revolution. Is this going to pop? No. Okay, so we can do free trade. Which is going to help to solve this problem as well. As make all of our trade routes more competitive. And so hopefully we can get like the wood and start fixing these problems. Uh, we do want to import ammo at some point from someone. We're going to need to build the port for that. And we're going to want free trade first, I believe. Look at this backy plantation. So profitable. Uh, we will let that guy fight. And we're fine with that guy fighting, so let's do it. We just really don't want to let our market liberal fight because he is currently letting us pass stuff, so... We'll take the guaranteed chance. Hopefully we get it on the next tick. This will also be really profitable, and again, we it's very important that early on we try and get everything on privately owned. Um, this is like just all so scuffed though, because we need to import a huge amount of lead, and we, there's no one we can import lead from to switch the glass over. We also probably want to export glass. Let's see if we can do that. Because we don't have enough local demand for glass. We can export a little bit. We're going to need to be able to trade with someone a little bit bigger. I think this is all okay, though, the way we have it structured. We just got to wait a little bit. Um, maybe we should be impatient about the iron mine into the construction center. I think I like that. Do it like this. So now this is mostly solved. I think once we get free trade, all of this will be solved. And then we're currently going construction center into the iron mine. Just trying to ramp up the, our goal right now is to just ramp up construction as much as possible, but we don't have, yeah. So this is solved by that. And so now let's take a look at what laws we can maybe pass. God, we're on presidential republic too. It's so weird. Why is monarchy down here? Council republic up here. All right. Uh, and this is inverted as well. That's also weird. I mean, I don't think we want to go religious schools. Uh, institutions are also extremely expensive. If anything, we would want to... Ooh, we can go no social security. We kind of don't want to be paying it right now anyways. Uh, when you have a lot of peasants, social security is kind of bad. So we're going to try and get rid of social security then. We are research researching the iron mine. We're building the iron mine. I think maybe we'll actually just put the construction... Well, no, we're gonna... Why does this take 39 weeks? I'm so confused. We'll put this in front. We're not on laissez-faire. 
This still takes seven weeks. Man, it takes so long. Do we have a ton of turmoil? No, oh, man, we also are gonna need the... Oh, this is so grim. We're gonna need railroads, like, pretty soon here. So I guess, like, maybe we have to go steel mills into motor industries, like, kind of pretty relatively quick. And we'll hope that the auto queue kind of solves the wood problem a little bit more. I think the port's probably fine. We get precision tools. This unlocks tools for some places, but I don't even think that, uh... We can't take that bureaucracy hit. We'll just do that. There we go. Tools. We don't quite have a shortage. We're gonna come down in the speed a little bit. We can start using tools here. I don't think that'll be profitable because the labor is super, super cheap anyway. I think all this is, what are all of our shortages? Okay, so we actually, we need to prioritize the port. Or we'll just, for now, we'll come off of using, actually, we'll just let this go for now. Yeah, this silk thing's pretty far away, but we do want it to be privately owned. No, and it's just barely losing money. Really, really need to get... We need a lot of things, actually. Probably should have had the port before the iron mine. So we could try and fix a whole bunch of stuff with trade. Uh, with more than just, you know, our regional partners. Looks like Sichuan is getting clapped by someone. Oh, by the their religious revolt? Yeah, that's fair. These are quite profitable, though. Which is what we want. It's not auto expand. We didn't put either of those in the queue. It looks like the, we put one in and the auto queue put one in. Which is nice. Big nice. I don't think we've proc'd the atmospheric engine pump event. Building has to get to level 3 but we're about to hit the iron mine to level three. It probably fulfills the requirements, so this will actually be very nice that we'll get the event for faster railroads because I think that's going to be a problem. Ooh, man. Why can't someone take on our national debt? Russia <laughs> took on Shai Bay's national debt. We actually don't have any debt, that's why. I guess we can get to build another construction center then. Are we going to... Yeah, we're not going to have a shortage of iron if we do that. So I guess we just do want to build another construction center. We do have a wood shortage, but our auto queue needs to get on that. We also maybe could import... try and solve that, which is going to make construction cheaper. We do have the problem of needing more government administrations, though. After we get Social Security axed, we're probably going to try and switch to laissez-faire. Oh, no, it's too early to switch laissez-faire. I think we're going to try and get around 30 to 50 construction before we make that swap. We just want to do it while we still have the market liberal landowner. Because um, I think it's going to be a while before the intelligentsia and uh, uh, industrialist block is, like, too substantial. We are starting, and we also really need to get onto leaded glass, so we have to get lead from somewhere. Uh, and dyes. This is why the port's important. We need the lead and the dyes. We can build the silk ourselves. take the 20% enacting chance here. The children must m go back to the mines. It's only getting nine construction, because half is coming over to this coal mine. There's, uh, the split is very, very painful early on, uh, which is why we went interventionalism instead of laissez-faire. Can we increase taxes, maybe? No. <laughs> no, we cannot. <laughs> Now, why is this not popping the atmospheric engine event? 
Oh, does the cash reserve have to get higher? Wait, where'd the atmospheric engine event go? Did it pop and we just didn't notice it? I'm so confused. Okay. Something happened. I think after we finish this, we're going to build another construction center. After we finish the, the port. And we'll try and uh, fix our stuff with imports and exports. And after that, we will almost certainly need a government administration. But we're improving relations with Great Shing? Yikes. I guess we should have checked this stuff beforehand. We really want them to like us and them to like us. I think those are the two most likely to stick their finger in our pie. And now, as soon as this port finishes, we're going to be importing dyes from someone. And then we're going to be importing uh, lead as well. Come on, baby. You can do it. Push it back into it. All right, there we go. So let's import, well, let's import some shooty shooties as well. And of course, not those shooty shooties. We can do that ourselves in a minute. We also, we're using virtually none. Uh, we're not going to import silk because we're going to make silk. We're going to import clippers because we're not making clippers. Yikes. Not very profitable, but okay. Uh, we're going to import this for the British market. And then we're going to turn on using lead. Which will cause a shortage of lead here. And we'll import from both of them. And I think we'll need to encourage imports. Or we can't because we're on free trade. Uh, we're losing some money now. This is fine. Our government admin's coming back up. And then let's try and export some of our glass, right? Let's export to the whatever's going to be really productive, which looks like the Russian market's very productive, which will allow this to be profitable, and it's also now privately owned. We'll switch this on to ceramics as well. Which is going to make it so we build, like, fewer tobacco plantations, because now they have a substitute good in ceramics. I think we probably won't export that. Maybe we'll export it. It's really cheap. Uh, what's the most... Ooh, some of these are really productive. Let's just export to Shangxi because it's super productive and then leave some in our market that's going to be cheap. So now we're running negative 42. This is giving us 6.5% tax waste, which is why the government admin is coming in next. Uh, auto construction queue is now still starting to build some logging camps, which is fantastic. I think we can kick this coal mine down to the bottom. Uh, we do want to start getting onto steel tools and this sort of thing. It was uh, put in there by the auto queue. Good to change. And we get rid of social security. Perfect. We'll take the loyalist from standard of living increase because we are going to hopefully be increasing the standard of living pretty quick here now that we are starting to trade to fix things. Now we're making a bit more money because we're not paying any uh, was it social security out. How expensive are our inputs? Our inputs are just ungodly expensive. Let's see if we can import now fabric from someone that's going to be a little bit better. We can from the Russians. Perfect. And from Manchu. We're probably going to want a higher level port and the port is also giving us infrastructure. So we'll put one at the back I guess. Let's check our infrastructure. We're using, we can support, was this 16 more? This is, I forget how much the government admins cost. These are, I think, one each. So one, two, or these are two each, actually. Two, three, uh, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, this is about in the right spot. The government administration. Looks like we somehow got more bureaucracy. I'm not sure. Let's see what we're running shortages of. Just the small arms and the cannons, I assume, as well. So we will also put an arms industry down. We just look to build that ourselves.
Ooh, we can cancel the silk, I think, in the queue, because the... Oh, no. Damn. Okay. I thought the, uh, since the auto queue was building it, we were fine, but we were not fine. That's not good. It just took... So the auto construction queue took over the silk plantation construction. Not added another one. That's weird. I didn't know that that's how that worked. We'll just put that there. I suppose. We are now running negative convoys. Um... Hmm. I want to build a construction center so bad, but the construction goods are all so expensive. gonna do it and we're gonna try and import wood i don't think we're importing wood from um currently from the russians and we should be and we can import as well from manchu which doesn't take too too many convoys and we'll make it so we're making more money because our biggest cost is construction goods right now so this will decrease it let's see what laws we maybe want to pass don't quite want yet. Can't really go dedicated police force. All these institutions are going to be extremely expensive. They're going to be 100. And they're going to be expensive when we try and switch stuff. We could switch back to monarchy in theory. And then to parliamentary republic. I don't think I like that. I think I want to get off autocracy as well. Because uh, we are relatively contested. And I wouldn't mind getting the landowners out of government. So if we do something like this. Hmm. Okay. So who supports landed voting? This being reversed is also like tripping me the hell out. Um, I guess we just need the industrialists to have more of a come up, uh, and they are coming on up, especially now that we're gonna we're getting like this profitable and we're getting it. Well, we're, I guess profitable is a stretch, but uh, we are importing this. We are now privately owned on the capitalists because we swapped to using lead. Maybe we could import iron as well. This doesn't use too many convoys. That'll help bring the price down of the construction. Just trying to get the construction up as much. I mean, we want to build iron mines ourselves, so this is maybe not necessarily something we want to import, but... Uh... What else is expensive? The fabric, uh, we're trying to solve the, the lead and the dyes. The dyes is really a problem though. Fabric's a little expensive. We could import it from the British as well. And this is gonna make them like us more. We are running negative convoys though. So we're gonna take a look at our trade routes again after. Let's see what we can do in terms of importing this. We're gonna import from Anhui because it is zero. And Shing, because it is zero uh, in terms of convoys. And then let's take a look at trade routes here. So they're mostly profitable. The wood and the fabric are not. This one is really just tanking money, so we're going to get rid of that one. And uh, we're losing a ton on the ammunition one. Maybe it's not even worth it, and we should just run the deficit. We do want to keep the PM on uh, for when we decide we want to ramp up the military. Let's just take a look at Great Shing's, uh... God, it's also gonna cost so much infamy to, like, vassalize these boyos. So maybe we don't even want to expand, like, militarily as much. Hmm. shang is... Shangzi is two states, so Shangzi might be okay. It's gonna be to just conquer both. Also, notably, no great power can come and save Shangzi because they are not inside. Uh, thing. Oh, now we have an adjacency with Great Britain. That's fantastic. Um, kind of don't like that, to be honest. Because uh, now they can put... Now if they join, like, for example, in a play against Shang-Zi, uh, then they will just 
like automatically like be right there. We're trying to see how much military Shangzi has or how much uh, army power projection. Fifty-five, and with our one battalion, we have four. So in theory, we could ramp up military and maybe go after Shangzi soon-ish. Maybe after we finish this arms industry. We are probably going to need... Well, we won't need a railway just yet, actually, because uh, we are expanding the ports. And the ports are giving us some infrastructure. Not a whole lot, though. But this will allow us to do more trade, which we desperately need to do in order to, you know, try and get a bigger supply of lead and dyes. And once this swaps over, once we get the steel mill, we can swap these over to steel tools. Which is gonna be nice. Auto buildings, tea plantations. Don't know about that one. Man, they're barely profitable. Why are you doing this? We don't want to export tea, because we'd rather they just not be profitable. Maybe it's because we have so much tea already that there's just a lot contributing to these specific industries. We can now conduct diplomacy with... Alright, with Germany. These should employ up. We'll be getting more tools. This will be nice. We maybe don't need the motor industry right away. So let's build these three things first. I think we can expand construction. We'll be losing money for a little bit, but I think we'll be able to sustain this. Especially the auto queue is now building construction materials, which is exactly what we want. I think maybe we could go laissez-faire here. We do want to do it before a guy dies, is the thing. How much are we getting from the investment pool transfer? Quite a lot. But it's only, oh, it's actually only like 8k. So, juicing this by 25%, but still a decent amount. We're gonna go for it. And also, getting the 20% juice from these guys being now happy is also really nice. Let's see if we can reform the government and do some of this. Well, we can do use these two together to try and pass... Uh, Landed voting now, which is going to be a nice little stepping stone here. We're losing a little money, but this is super okay. We have a revolution brewing, not a big deal. Uh, iron mines are finishing. And then we'll have the motor industry, and then we will build our railway after the motor industry finishes. Let's quickly just check through RPMs and see if there's anything we can make adjustments on. Oh, we can switch to sulfide pay pay pumping. Okay, we're gonna need to... That is quite the revelation. All right, we're gonna put one of those on the front. Actually, we wanna finish this first. Oh, it takes, why does it take, oh, it's just how long at this rate. Make sure this is on atmospheric engine. We don't auto expand. We're gonna need to finish quite a few of these. That's how much sulfur this takes. 120 sulfur. So we're gonna need at least two sulfur mines before we swap. And then we'll have a bunch more capitalists. Should have checked this earlier, but the important thing is right now it's on Merchant Guild owned, and we want it to be Capitalist owned, and this will help swap us over. And it notably will not increase the amount of wood we need, which is also nice. Big nice. 
I feel just so behind on tech though, because it's 30 years into the game and we're just now getting railroads. We do have a we do have quite a big chunk of this tech though, so that's kind of nice, and a decent amount of this stuff. So uh, it's just not what I'm used to, because we swapped over. Water tube boiler is also going to be huge, and this is not spreading. So. I'm gonna want to increase construction again pretty soon here. Oh, and we're building shipyards in Hay Bay. Fantastic, man. In the auto queue. So we could probably delete our trade route for Clippers. We get laissez faire. Which, of course, is going to donation of knowledge. Hell yeah, brother. Free uni. And now we're making tons more because we are getting to drain the investment pool a lot more. So we can definitely add a ton of construction. We're going to wait for this uh, one to finish. Actually, the sulfur mine is not going to do anything until we build the other one. So we'll just add construction. And we'll add another one. And we'll put it right behind the second sulfur mine. Actually, let's do this. Yeah, let's just get these two construction centers out. Japan sides with Great Shing. And the Chinese religious revolt. I don't even see where the revolt is. Japan is also yoked right now. They abandon Great Ching. Okay, fair enough. I don't even see the revolt. Oh, it must be Formosa. That's... They're going to get their freedom here. What are we running? Dyes. We need more dyes. Dyes, dyes, dyes. I don't think we can import from anyone, but uh, we can try to import from someone. Oh, we can import from the French now. It's not productive, but I think it's worth doing. Just to make our buildings a little bit better. Can we maybe get a trade agreement with someone? Can't join the customs union. No, can't get any trade agreements. Fair. Oh well. We have a bunch of extra bureaucracy we're floating. So maybe we could try and export paper and or glass to our neighbors, which is not going to take up convoys. So this one's profitable to export. And then let's see about paper. No paper to neighbors. British does use zero convoys though because of this now. Okay. We'll export this to the British as well. Second sulfur mine's finishing here. And notably, we're losing a ton of money because none of the investment pool transfer is going through, which is okay. We'll be losing a ton of money and then we'll gain money back when uh, it starts using the construction for something. But for now, we get all the construction to ourselves. Now that we got that second one over, we're going to switch to sulfite pumping, which will make these two uh, sulfur mines fully employed quite quickly. Uh, and these will now be owned by privately owned, so they're owned by capitalists. Yay! Does require quite a bit of uh, sulfur, though. Now we got a food industry coming in, so now we're not like hemorrhaging 27k, just that 11k. Uh, and another one can also come in. So the food industry will put all the things over. And then also we'll put down a railroad at the top, because we do have infrastructure problems. And now we can come in, uh, water tube boiler is about to spread to us anyways. We could multi- egalitarianism spreading to us. Maybe we go pharmaceuticals with the plan of going quinine. Let's see about declaring an interest. Can't declare an interest right now. That's fine. We are going to want to, I think, soon build up a military. So, I mean, we got this going on, though. 
maybe we got a little ahead of ourselves with expanding construction two notches. But let's see if we can make some of these productive, because as these become productive, we get a much bigger investment pool transfer. So let's see if we can export glass and paper. These are these are would not be the ones of choice. We can export a little bit. We do have convoy problems. We can export to them, but it's not profitable. But uh, maybe that's okay. And where's glass? Hmm. Let's see if we can get a trade agreement now with Great Britain. We did put in a whole bunch more uh, routes. How close are we? Just minus twelve. Are doing a decent trade volume with them. Let's throw this port down to the bottom. Universal suffrage. Oh, our taxation law. I completely forgot. Now, we have land-based taxation right now, but per capita taxation would be great, but we can't pass it through the landowners. Unless we have industrialists or armed forces and government. The armed force isn't too, too bad. Let's do this. Let's try and get onto per capita taxation, which will be quite a big deal. We can. That throws me off so much that the stuff's inverted. I don't know why it is. A little bit of a race against time because we can't increase taxes to try and manage this. Uh, once we get per capita taxation, I think we'll probably decrease taxes, but uh, we'll see what we can do then. We're gonna need sugar, we're gonna try and import it um, for this food industry here. We're trying to solve that ourselves, that one. Gonna have a railroad soon here. We're just gonna create demand for this, which will be nice. We can probably export engines though. Because we aren't gonna be using too too many of them. So let's export engines to I mean Russia is more productive, but it's gonna cost convoys. We'll export to the British. We're also just wanting to do more trade volume with the British. In general, we're gonna swap these over to wooden passenger. So now our infrastructure problem should be getting solved. Are you not employing yet? Are you not giving too much infrastructure? We also have that port coming in though. Which will give us both infrastructure and quite a bit of convoys. It'll cost a little bit of money though. We're building a cotton plantation. Not ideal. Oh, we finally get out of a shortage for the dyes. That's nice. And this building is really profitable. Also nice. Uh, we did get onto water tube boiler, so we're going to... Ooh, schooling workshops are super profitable. So maybe kick that ahead of the... Well, no, port's important. Let's do that. Um, right, water tube boilers. We'll swap these on. And then we'll swap these on. It's going to make more iron. The problem is we're having a tool shortage. We really want to be building more tools. Tools are great. Maybe we do this. The port is important, though. Blah. I guess the arms industry is probably the mistake here, because we actually, like, we only have one barracks, so it's like supplying almost nothing. It's not going to even fully employ. Uh, tools are just super ungodly expensive. I mean, I guess we could temporarily import them. Uh, we can also get rid of some of these imports that are really not productive. This is only not productive because we have only, like, one guy. Hmm. 
we just import food? I thought I, I meant to click British. We're good. We want to import from the British, which costs no convoys. And they want a trade agreement now. Hell yeah, brother. So now we will not be paying any tariffs for trade with Great Britain. Let's get rid of this. I don't think we want to join their market, though, because they will siphon off pops from us pretty quickly. We're getting close to losing money here. I think we got to come off of maybe one construction center. It is pretty painful, but, uh, well, I mean, maybe once our infrastructure problem gets solved, well, it's kind of already solved. Hmm. If the investment pool was getting a lot more transfer, we would be fine, but it's not. Or if another building got queued up, we would be fine. Maybe we can just wait. Also, once we get per capita taxation, we'll be fine. We'll just wait. Just trying to ramp up construction here. And we're going to go up to Shangzi. that though this will be good enough <sighs> and the tooling workshops almost finished and now that we're getting enough transfer to have two buildings constructing it's transferring enough uh, it's siphoning off from the investment pool and it's transferring enough that this is going to be good. Also, I think once the tooling workshop comes in, we'll kind of like have fixed things quite a bit. And so we might even stop importing tools if it's not profitable once that finishes. Have a couple inactive routes as well. And we. We have just such a high level trade center, but it doesn't matter because we have so many employees. Like, uh, we should, let's, let's see if we can make, what highlights, what, we can export, we can export furniture? We don't even have furniture manufacturing. Don't really want to export tea too much. So we don't want our auto queue to be really building tea, but it is really profitable for us to do so. We'll just hope per capita taxation comes in before this starts wrecking us because paying interest is particularly bad. We're paying a lot on subs on the railroad though. So let's start turning on some of these uh, PMs up in here which are going to lose money, but they will increase the price of transportation. The increased price of transportation will uh, make it so that we, the railroad is more profitable. And since it's now break even, we should be paying zero in subsidies. Yeah, the subsidies are gone. And so we slowly want to kind of, as subsidies go up, we turn more of those PMs on. Um, it is at the expense of the, the T places, but we don't really care. Uh, that the tea place is less profitable, or suddenly not profitable, uh, because now the auto queue will not be building as much tea. We'll in fact do the same with um, tobacco here, I think. Well, we will look to do the same once we are paying for it again. And now we're making money. We're getting, like, it's this number plus this number, so we're only really making 4k, so we can't, like, add construction or anything like that, but... We are in decent shape. We're actually going to up the speed a little bit here. Try and get to 50 construction before the end of this episode. GDP's come up quite nicely. I mean, whew, that's because our standard of living sucks. Uh, we do have the university, but that is not uh, helping sufficiently. Yeah, this is uncomfortable. Is there a way to make it more legitimate? Not and keep passing this per capita taxation, which we desperately need. Maybe we take this off auto expand and just let the auto queue do that. 
we'll do that. I mean, we're already working on the building, so we'll finish it, but uh, we'll just do that. It's extremely profitable. Tooling Workshop is extremely profitable. And our trade routes should get a little bit better here. Building our first uh, livestock thing, so we can swap over PMs here. Temporary embarrassment. Well, uh, we really want this passed. I don't even think we're necessarily getting too, too much from taxes, so this is fine. Yeah, we're mo a huge portion is just the investment pool transfer. So, we'll just come and do that. What are you having a shortage of? Hardwood. Okay. I think we just import the hardwood. Because we do want more softwood. We'll import from the market that has zero convoy usage. It's not a lot of hardwood we need. Sugar. We will need to import that. We'll import it from the British. Should allow this to be a lot more profitable. Russia wants a trade agreement? I'm okay with this. I don't want Russia sticking their finger in our pie. I think that's going to be a common occurrence, so we'll, we'll do that. So if we go for a dominion on these guys... Oh, we can't because we're not big enough. Okay, we're just going to go for their provinces when the time comes. The time has not come, but... Uh, what's their GDP? 7 million still bigger than ours. Yikes. A little bit of a slow come up here. Don't like that it's building double rural stuff, but there's not much to be done here. This is uh, one of the downsides of Lazay Fair. We're trying to... Ah, we can import meat to make this happen less. So let's do that. This meat is really expensive. Let's import it from the British. Because that uses no convoys. Shandong is importing fabric from us, which is not what we want, but uh, can't really do much about that. We're starting to make money. It's this number plus this number. Um, more than happy to let ourselves recover from being in any type of debt before we add more construction, but uh, it will be nice to get up to 50 construction before the end here. We're running a ton of this, so maybe we can do something with that. Can we make this cheaper? No. Can we make grain cheaper? Please tell me yes. Alright, British. Uh, we can import it from the Anhui market as well. And then also the Russian market because we have trade agreement with Russia. Fish is a little expensive. Let's import fish if we can from the Russians, I guess. This is still expensive. Let's import it from the Germans. I think we want prestige, maybe? Nah, let's do that for now. Railroad is building right as we're running out of infrastructure, so this is really nice. We generally want to let the auto queue build the railroads, I think. Now, I think that it still won't be profitable. Uh, the labor saving PMs here just like won't be profitable at all, but we could turn them on. Uh, to make more demand for tools and also to make them make less money which makes the auto queue less likely to pick them and we will want them on eventually anyways so I think I like this let's just take a look at what journal entries we can maybe do mm, maybe we'll get branching out done why don't we uh, just try to keep it in mind Now, I think we're making a sufficient amount of money here that we will want to expand um, construction a little bit. Yikes, we're going to be capped out at 15 construction centers. Standard living is starting to climb here, which is nice. Getting a lot of jobs for these peasants. Really do want to get in on the tools more, so we'll do that. Uh, 
let's see about our fishing wharves. What are we using? Let's go fishing trawlers, I think. Can we manually... Fishing has been weird where you can, like, manually swap it to privately owned. Don't know what that's about. Because whaling's not like that. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. Um, are we paying subsidies? No, we're not paying subsidies. But we did just finish a railway, so what we're going to do is we're going to come in here, and we would rather the the auto queue not build the luxury good of these. So we're gonna do we're gonna make the tobacco plantation lose money, even though it doesn't do anything. But it does drive up the price of transportation, which makes the auto queue more inclined to build the railways, perhaps even uh, preemptively, because they do have a positive balance instead of reactively, which is kind of how they do it now. Ah, and then we see a railroad. Perfect. Fulfilling the demand. And also adding infrastructure and also not building agrarian stuff because we don't have control of this auto queue. And so we're trying to nudge it in a particular direction. Can we get per capita taxation on the next tick? Okay, thanks. Bye. If we do get that, we'll just up the military and uh, look to next episode at least. Uh, probably take out shang -Zi and just annex all of them. Proper Chinese warlord style. Can we export more paper, I think, is the question. Yeah, that is the question. Can export to the Russians, which we have a trade agreement, and this is not too much, and also anti I think we're gonna go... We do kind of want Quinayan in the near-ish future. And human rights. I think we need to go back into the productivity stuff. We have an absolute ton. Yeah, let's go chem bleaching. We have so many. And then let's go mechanized workshop afterwards. We have so many paper stuff, like, already, that we probably should have looked to do that before. I'm really not used to having a paper and uh, <laughs> glass-based economy at any point in time. And now we get, oh baby, we're making enough money that the investment pools look at all this. It's all over here, so we're getting huge transfers. So let's try and see if we can do a little bit of this up to construction center level 10. We still have per capita taxation trying to come in here. This is all kind of in recovery. Well, I mean, like this entire episode has been recovery mode, to be honest. But, uh... This is uh, an interesting... I'm pleased with this. We are going to be really far behind on tech is one problem as well. But uh, hopefully we can get this per capita taxation. We're going to wait for it. Now we're losing a bit of money. We have a little bit of reserves. and we're But it's this number plus this number is kind of where you're at. So we're really close to break even because the investment pool is growing. And then once it uh, swaps and puts extra stuff in there, it'll be shrinking. So it'll be, it'll be kind of perfect. We're going to put another, in the back of the queue, another port. Because I think we're going to need it. Keep these trade routes uh, nice and profitable. Let's take a look. We can ditch some ones that are not too productive. Because we don't need this import for meat here. We have our own ship's industry, so we can delete the Clippers one. Although Clippers don't really take a lot. This lead is taking a bit, but we do kind of need the lead. Yikes. What is their GDP? So we finally passed up shang -Zi in terms of GDP. They're conciliatory, but that's not going to save them. auto -Q is uh, not building a lot currently, so it just overflows to the government construction, but at the same time, we're getting the 25% juice uh, from laissez-faire regardless. Okay, so we're actually not making progress here. Is there a way to... Why are we so illegitimate? 
I mean, we just can't enact the laws, so we're just gonna, I mean, do this for now, I guess. I don't know. We're stuck where we are here. Oh, no, wait, we have 20 enacting chance, so we're not stuck, but we're just not getting it juiced up. Hopefully it doesn't suffer too much. It's only 20%, but it's going to make progress, or lack thereof. I think we've been damaging relations with Beijing, and taking them would also be really nice. Unfortunately, Great Britain can join. The reason taking them would be nice is we would be getting increased legitimacy because we would have uh, the Forbidden City, which gives legitimacy from having head of state and government, so this would solve the exact problem we're having right now. Alright, we'll take a tax cut. Also, when we lose the tax cut there, that'll be good. But I think we're going to pause it um, now. Uh, this episode, we have started done starting steps like halfway through, or like a third of the way through the campaign, uh, after China had this nice big fracturing, and we are playing as the smallest Chinese state, and we are going to try and recreate China. I believe uh, once we take out Great Xing, if I'm not mistaken, uh, we can form the nation of uh, Great Xing after this, or China. I'm not 100% sure how that works, um, but we'll see once Great Xing is taken out. That's how it works. Um, if you enjoyed this video... Oh, what else did we do? We also got up to 50 construction, and we were just trying to fix the massive, like, problems with the economy that we had at the start, you know? Like, the, we had paper mills that none of these were productive, um, they were all on, like, bad PMs that didn't empower capitalists, all this sorts of stuff. So we came in, we added a bunch of construction, we fixed a lot of these problems. We went from 9 construction to 55, which is a pretty good look. Um, we have a ton of peasants, so we actually have, we're in a decent spot in terms of, like, where we can go, what we can do, uh, as a result of the peasants. And I think next episode we'll probably be going after shang -Zi and just looking to full annex them. Um, shang -Zi in particular, because they do not have, uh, so if we go after Great Xing or Shandong or Anhui, Great Britain can join against us uh, and be able to get on the front in a in a fast way, but not as much with Shang-Zi. Of course, they do have this, so we probably can't suffer them joining anyways. But we're probably going to go after Shang-Zi, Zaibai, Sichuan, and like these before going after the coastal ones. Not sure entirely. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and have a good one.